Effective action against child labour starts with a change in attitudes in adults. The International Cocoa Initiative supports a program implemented through local partners to sensitise community members. In part, this helps parents and local leaders better understand the effects of child labour on their children and to create a demand for change. Within the advancements, I did for 16 years. My real school four years. I'm so fine by my exams by my man passing. Until my own four, I don't know who said. Without your phone by my own phone, I don't know who said school here. Until almost answer the member of both DJs, same answer me twice. And I say my own said I just want a course until my exams are me passing. Working with participatory associates in Ghana, ICI experimented with a community-based approach to address child labour in the cocoa sector. The cocoa sector is dominated by an estimated 2 million smallholder farmers in West Africa alone. Therefore, no sustainable change would be possible without better understanding their needs and engaging their leadership. This is a key part of the strategy to meet ICI's goal of eventual elimination of the worst forms of child labour and forced labour on cocoa production. This programme is called Yandachi, YDK or Our Future. In the 24 villages which embrace YDK in the pilot phase, the worst forms of child labour has been virtually eliminated. For example, children have been banned from being present when the crops are sprayed, the loads carried have been reduced, and the length of time that a child can help their parents has also been reduced. One result of the sensitisation is a greater realisation of the importance that nutrition has on a child's ability to learn. Children report having better provision of food, as well as school materials in many of the pilot communities. Most importantly, school enrolment and attendance has increased dramatically, and exam results have markedly improved. For example, in the past, only about 15% of primary school pupils in the community of Woman No Good pass a BECE exam. Now the children, the parents and the community as a whole take education seriously. This year, the BEC pass rate in Women No Good was 100%. Last but not least, there is a better understanding of the role that play has in the child's development. ICI is helping communities take advantage of programs put in place by the Government of Ghana to improve rural schooling. Matching the government's initiatives with active community involvement is a winning combination for children. <laughs> In fee seventeen years old, and female name me real school. Send a phone, you money, your mother come and demand to man pass it. To get in that chain program a bang. Now, Papa Motras has been a say, school money and tea. No more, Miss Anson to us with you. To me to us, I'm not a pass it. No more question, I send off senior secondary technical school. And also, Miss Margin send me via Miko Cape Noma to us on my being in my dad. But you may the gift here, Drama. Many and few twenty years. But you know, I'm quite jealous. I'm a giant nephew. And so, what I achieve for one by now, on Becca, on Becca, such a man, on my boy, I'm a bit too much jealous. Now, maybe you know, person, I'm quite jealous. Jealous, and so, my catch him out of phone. So, I'm so much in love with my boy, I'm with him. Intimate to what I achieve for him. Me, the two of my name. Omo bebuame, omo si omo bebuame. Ema makueses, na se makueses. Ewiya, makueses ambe se makubukeshne school, na se makubukeshne school ewiya, be se me serve wo plane.